Sonia Misul. I am working at Orange International Carriers within marketing team as product manager, and I am in charge in I am in charge of IP transit uh, products so the ASN the AS number fifty five eleven. So just as a reminder on uh, IP transit, um, so. You all know that is an internet connectivity uh, solution, and our mission is to connect content provider that send traffic and internal se service provider that receive traffic in a high quality IP network, and so the end user can benefit from the best possible digital experience. So end users uh, are key, are not our final customers, but they are key in the story of IP transit. So it can be uh, you and me uh, w watching content on, on our laptop, but also and more and more enterprise with their cloud usage that we use um, inter internet connectivity uh, for their cloud usage. <laughs> Regarding 5511, uh, so we are a tier one uh, IP transit provider. So within the 15 tier one provider, tier one IP transit provider worldwide. Uh, so it means that uh, we uh, we have an international footprint, an international presence. We don't buy IP transit to other suppliers, um, and uh, we uh, we give access connecting to 5511. Uh, give access to all the internet routes uh, with only maximum one hop of network. Uh, so this is a uh, key uh, for, um, for internet connectivity to have access to a tier one providers. In a ranking, uh, Renesis, uh, in a Kentic, uh, Kentic ranking, uh, so we are in a top 10 of, uh, of top 10 of IP pro, uh, transit providers. So eight in, uh, uh, eight in, uh, in April and in May. Uh, we are six, uh, in Europe and third in West Africa. So I mentioned these two. Uh, region, Europe and uh, West Africa, because they are key, uh, they are key in our footprint. But globally, we have more than uh, 200 pops uh, with men, um, men present in Europe and Africa. Uh, so, and what we, what is important is uh, that we would like to have local presence for regional uh, and international uh, traffic. Today we have more than 300 customers, so one third of our customers are content providers that send traffic, two thirds of customers are uh, internet service providers that, that, uh, that uh, receive traffic, and all the uh, Orange affiliates are connected uh, to uh, 5511 for their, inter for their international connectivity. In terms of uh, in terms of traffic in, in terms of evolution of our network, so we have um, um, we have launched last year 400 gig ports. Uh, so this is um, uh, is key for the increase of uh, traffic. So it was in uh, available in Paris and Marseille. Uh, end of the semester we will be available in uh, uh, Spain, London, and um, uh, Spain, London, and Amsterdam too. Um, and uh, step by step on all the uh, uh, big uh, big pop uh, point of presence. Uh, we have also deployed uh, RPK, implement uh, RPKI uh, filtering and validation on all uh, on all uh, our routers. So RPKI are fully deployed on all our networks. Uh, the SLA uh, are key. Uh, are key for our quality of uh, quality of service. Uh, so we have a high level of SLA uh, on latency, uh, packet loss, and availability. And uh, we are very proud to have uh, an award last year for the best data global uh, world cell uh, world cell carriers. Um, so it was for last year. A 
so um, how we use um, KMI uh, within Orange. Uh, first is for the ranking. Uh, because our customers are look, our customers are looking at the ranking, and so we need to know uh, our position and the position of our competitors. Um, so we use it. Um, we use it because our customers use it, and uh, for all the competition analysis. This is the first step. The second step is for customer knowledge. So we know of our customer where they are connected, their traffic. But with Kentic, we have a view also uh, on their suppliers, um, the position that we have uh, between the supplier of our customers, their peer, uh, their cust cust customer of our customers. Uh, so it's a very helpful insight for our customer uh, knowledge and for uh, to improve our customer relation. And the last point is for prospection, as uh, Doug mentioned, uh, to identify our prospect, but also the region, uh, the regional market potential, the region that um, where we need to put a, a new uh, point of presence. Uh, so it's part of a study uh, for new point of presence. So it's why we use um, we use KMI. <music> First is, uh, I think, it's for, with a pop, so the, our footprint. Uh, so we have a strategy to deploy pop uh, closer to our customers and to be everywhere in the world. Uh, so this is the first step. Second, second point is the backbone, that we we, um, we monitor our backbone capacity to be sure that is uh, always uh, sized to uh, for customer uh, for customer traffic. Um, and uh, also uh, in our architecture, we take care of uh, uh, security and redundancy of our backbone. So this is the second point. And the third point is the security. Uh, so with RP, uh, RPKI deployment that we have done and also some option as a, a DDoS protection or black calling that we um, offer to our customers to have a better, uh, better security on our network. It's a solution based on um, a class of service and a specific configuration. So we need to know the IP addresses of the customers and which cloud providers you would like to, um, to reach. Uh, and then, so on the install, um, uh, on the install IP transit install capacity, uh, we can have dedicated capacity for this cloud usage. Uh, so it's, uh, it gives us an improved or guarantee, uh, guarantee quality of service with higher, um, lo lower latency, uh, lower packet loss. Um, and then also with this solution, we commit on, uh, on Jitter. Uh, so it's a way for enterprise to use IP transit and to have only one access for their cloud access and all the other access. So all critical business and all the other traffic that, uh, that they use. I'm just going to focus uh, on three trends that we see on the IP trans transit market. Uh, so the first, the first one is the traffic forecast. Uh, so IP transit traffic returns to pre-COVID level. Uh, so after um, after a two. 2000, uh, 2022 years, we when where we when we see a slowdown of um, of a growth of traffic, uh, but we have very high peak in 2021 and 2020 uh, due to COVID crisis. So now, with the first uh, first months of 2023, it seems that uh, we will be back. Um, at a growth, yearly growth between uh, 25 and 30% uh, of, um, of yearly growth. This for the traffic, so it's a, it's a good news. Uh, for regional hubs, so we would like to focus on this um, regional connectivity hubs. So we have a presence in uh, FLAP, uh, Frankfurt, London, Amsterdam and Paris. 
but now we have more connectiv regional connectivity up. It started with Marseille, that is used to deliver traffic um, for Africa and uh, Middle East customers. But we have also now, uh, and more and more important in our footprint, uh, South Africa in, with Johannesburg Pop and Lagos Pop, that are our regional connectivity hub uh, for um, Africa. So it allows us to deliver local traffic, regional traffic, and international traffic in the same, so in only one solution. Uh, so it's a very, um, uh, it's very helpful and improve the quality of service uh, for our customers and the quality of experience for the end users. So this is the trends with regional apps. And then uh, what I mentioned at the beginning is critical business. Uh, so we see that more with cloud, uh, the development of cloud usage uh, on internet uh, traffic, internet connectivity, we see more and more critical business on our network. So it's why we have two solutions for this uh, critical business. The first one is um, a solution that we call um, advanced cloud access. So this solution is um, within IP transit capacity and is a um, is a special uh, is a special configuration, uh, BGP configuration based on a class of service that allow to reach several um, multi cloud multi cloud providers and with the highest um, quality of uh, quality of service and highest SLA. So this is key uh, for enterprise that use um, that use internet connectivity to reach cloud. And the second point is uh, DDoS protection. So uh, we have more and more, uh, it's as well known, uh, DDoS attack everywhere. So is why we have decided uh, to uh, increase uh, the number of TMS uh, platforms. So it's the cleaning machine for DDoS. And we have platform in Europe, in US, and now in South Africa, and also in Singapore. So it allows us to, uh, uh, to, to clean the traffic and to detect attack and click the, to clean the traffic uh, more quickly. And it gives to our customer um, uh, highest, uh, highest quality and highest experience on IP Transit 5511. So this was uh, for the trend on the IP Transit market.